you. I'm on my way. Hey, another coat, yeah? I'd love to wait. Are you not still cross with me? I thought we'd made up. No, we are, but I need to be somewhere. Look, I know how much you care about Kevin and Jack, and I, I know you wouldn't hurt them. Not intentionally, anyway. You have no idea the lengths I'd go to to protect them. I know you think I only ever look out for myself, but I'm really trying not to be that person anymore. Happy, I know so that. Please just get off my case. Abby? No, why? Doesn't matter. I promised I wasn't going to interfere again. Oh, no. You're going to have to tell me now because you've already interfered by letting me know you're trying not to interfere. Eh? Hey? Just tell me. Well, I saw her earlier and she was really upset. I mean, I thought you two had sorted everything. Yeah, and so did I. Well, she definitely wasn't herself, so maybe you need to go and find her and reassure her again. You know that everything's all right with you and Jack. OK. I'll invite her around for tea. Oh, push the boat out, why don't you? Come on, Kevin, you can do better than that. OK, OK, I'll sort something out. I'll call her. What, now? Yeah, now. <sighs> Hello, where are you? I've, uh, I've got an appointment. Girl stuff. Oh, right. Well, look, I'm calling you to, uh See if you fancy coming round tonight, me and Jack would love to see you. And I'll make us a special tea. Yeah, um... Yeah, I'd really like that, thanks. Great. Look forward to it. I'll see you later. Bye. She sounded OK to me. Nice to see you made an effort. Well, you can take it or leave it. No, no, Abby. Let's not get off on the wrong foot. There's no reason why we can't both enjoy ourselves. Oh, let's get one thing straight. I am only here to stop you taking that dash cam footage to the police, and not because I give a damn about myself, but because I care about what happens to Kevin. How thoughtful of you. I almost feel guilty. Now get in there and freshen up. Put this on. I help get you in the mood. Fancy a drink? <laughs> I bet you wish you had something stronger, don't you? You told me all about your sordid past, remember? That's why I knew you'd agree to this. I mean, let's face it. I bet you've done far worse for a bag of smack. Am I right? Yeah. That's why this won't bother me one little bit. It's just a cold, meaningless transaction. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Especially tonight, when you're in bed with Kevin. Wonder how you'll feel about our transaction then. You disgust me. Oh, come on now, Abby. You're here of your own free will. The door's right there if you want to walk away. No. No, I'm here now, so let's get it over with. You know what? You disgust me, too. What? Now get dressed and get out of here. I, I don't understand. 
The deal's off. No. No, Ray. No, please. I need you to bury that evidence. And now, I know what way it's... You're prepared to go to it. No. I'll be in touch. Abby? What are you doing here? supposed to be at Kevin's. Jack's expecting you. You can't let him down. Can't I? They can do so much better than me. You're not still worrying about getting him involved in all this Ray business, are you? Hang on a minute. What Ray business? You know what? The best thing you can do is put this all behind you. It's over. I'm not sure it is. Why? Have the police been in touch again? The police? Oh, babe, you've got to tell me. No, it's nothing like that. Abby, come on, talk to me. I, I'm probably just being paranoid. But you know how it is, something good happens in your life and instead of just enjoying it, you worry that someone's going to take it away. Right, well, stop worrying and go and let Kevin spoil you. Go on. Yeah, because he's made you a special tea. Whatever that is. Mm. Think you'll like it? Who doesn't like pizza? Yeah, I meant the, uh... Heart shape, you don't think it's a bit too much, do you? Does this mean that you love her? Um. Right, action stations, you go and let her in. Hi. Surprise! What do you want? I was picking up a bit. You really should have told him, Abby. I wanted to, Kev. I just didn't know how you'd react. I was trying to protect you. Please, don't be angry. I really had a right to know about the dust cam footage. We're supposed to be in this together. Right, what do you want for it? Because that's what this is coming to, isn't it? No flies on you. So come on, what's it going to cost us? The garage. Now, I've had some paperwork drawn up, which explains it all. I'll give you a fair price for the building and the land. Well, fair-ish. Oh, and uh, did I mention the archway? I want that as well. What you see you is that? I'm buying up all the units next to the bistro. Looking to expand. Yeah, all right, take the arts, but leave me my garage, please. Come on, that's my livelihood. Let me think about that. Uh, no. It's not even all mine to sell. Tyrone's got a stake. Then you'll have to persuade him, too. You are being completely unreasonable. This is my problem, not Kevin's. And I would have thought you, of all people, would understand what you both have to lose if certain things became public knowledge. Anyway, I can see I'm interrupting your romantic evening. So, I'll let you think on it. You've got 24 hours. By the way, I can smell something burning. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kevin. I've ruined everything. What am I going to do? 